Gentlemen, we went over the rules. I want a good, clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Best of luck to both of you. Touch them up. Jefferson effectively changed pace. His co-trainer, Bill Miller, says, we'll see when the bell rings and the punches fly. Well, I don't think he can change with so much, but I do think he's going to slow down because his image is strictly that of a fighter who fights too fast, and more so than even being depicted or uh, classified as a boxer or puncher. When everyone mentions Derek Jefferson, oh, that's the guy that throws so many punches that he knocks himself out or almost runs out of gas. Crowd pleaser, though. His yes, other yes. image is that he threw the biggest punch in the division in several years with that left hook that knocked out Maurice Harris last year. Well, I, I think also the fact that he has so much confidence in himself. You know, he's really never lost an amateur fight and professionally, really, in his mind, never lost a professional fight. He knocked himself out, so to say. And I think that's a big factor. He probably has a lot of confidence, and he's been fairly active, which is unusual for most of the heavyweights today. It's, it's really strange that the champion, Lennox Lewis, has been more active than most of the contenders. And he's one of the few that's been busy. Right hand by Moscow. Jefferson goes down, perfect counter in close. Short right hand. Five, six. Jefferson came out seven, working with the jab. Eight, He's got a longer, three, quicker I'm left hand. Moskayev timed him perfectly with the right. And, and he, he still, still doesn't have his legs. He leg. still doesn't have his legs on him. That's a problem. I don't know if that's the leg that was hurt, but he doesn't have the experience, I don't think, to hold on. Moskayev tries the uppercut. Jefferson's trying to fight his way out of this. Well, the bell rang and the fists are flying. Well, it seems like he has more of a problem with his leg. I don't know if it's a nerve that was hurt. His left leg appears stiff, whether there's a nerve in there from that punch or, 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 or something happened in the, in the way he fell. It's hard to say. As you can see in close, he's trying to swing it loose, like almost like it's asleep. Yeah, he's trying to get his nerves back in it. I don't think it's so much he's hurt as much as his legs is standing. Well, the left leg is the one that was shattered by a bullet. That's correct. Years ago, when he had an incident in a convenience store in Detroit, there's a guy serving hard time for attempted murder for having shot Derek Jefferson and his brother in an argument over a quarter for candy years ago, and he's still bothered by the left foot and in serious trouble here. Moskam just taking his time and trying to land another right hand. Just missed with a big one that might have put the thing to rest. Well, if he can't get his legs or whatever's wrong with his legs back together, the fight's not going to be able to go his limit. Limit? I'm thinking, I'm thinking another round. It's, it's, it's amazing that he's able to finish up this round, it seems. Hard left hook by Jefferson. He's showing some courage in there. Step back, step back, step back. It's almost like he's shuffling with the left leg. But even among all that, he's still punching with a lot of power. I wonder if he twisted it when he went down or... Break, break. Step back, step back. He step is back. clearly hobbled on the left leg. Jefferson Turn. trying to fight Turn. on one leg, and he lands a good right hand after the bell. Listen up. After Moskov was Listen able up. to pull his right hand. Well, that's going to be interesting to see what happens between rounds. I don't know if this fight can go on. That's the doctor. Where's it hurting? I'm not going to stop it. I just want to know. Where's it hurting? You're limping. Why are you limping? Huh? Why are you limping? I'm straight. You're at a disadvantage if you can't walk. All right? There'll be other fights. If you can't walk, I'm what he should do is get off, be, if he's limping, off the okay? street and try to he puts move him around and get some kind of feeling back in the leg, I if that's possible. Uh, you hear me? Huh? We don't want to stop this fight. We've got to do this fight now. All right. Keep your hands up. You got hit with a right hand because your hands are up. There doesn't appear to be anything that's broken, but there obviously is something strained. And he rolled over on his left leg, and perhaps it's a knee or an ankle. Yeah, he fell awkwardly on the left leg and then rolled over. You heard the discussion with Dr. Dominic Coletta. You can see that Jefferson wants to keep going. Break! Let him out. Break! Break! Listen up. Okay, second time. Step back. Get in the neutral corner. Get in the neutral corner. That's the second time you hit on the break, okay? Listen up, all right? 
Young referee Michael Ortega with the warning to Jefferson about hitting on the break. Hard right hand again by Moskaya. And Jefferson up in a hurry. He's obviously angry about this. Five, six, seven. Hey, come here, walk to me, walk to me. You all right? Both times, Jefferson was coming with a left hook. Moskayev stepped in and hit him with the right. Well, it ain't gonna go 12, so Derek Jefferson's gonna let it all hang out and see if he can score a miracle knockout that'll bail him out of these circumstances. It's definitely gonna have to be a miracle, but he does have the punch of power to do that. The thing that, that's interesting, I don't think the leg is gonna get much better as the fight goes on. No, but he's starting to put weight on it anyway. No, he's, it's, it's, now, he's gonna have to put weight on the front foot to throw the left hook. But you're still dealing with heavyweights, but the short right hand of Moskayev seems to be with or without the leg. He's shooting a short right hand and seemingly is, is landing because Jefferson is shooting a longer punch. Well, and as Rockman can attest, Moskayev can crack with the right hand. He punches very good with that little short right hand, and I think that's that's a factor, and I can't take away from his short punching more so than just concentrating on the leg. Moskayev knocked out Rockman with a right hand that was broken and required surgery and three pins after the fight. He had broken it in the fourth round, knocked out Rockman in the eighth. Or Take a warning now about holding behind the head. This is a gutty showing by Derek Jefferson. He's been down twice. He obviously hurt his left leg on the first knockdown, but he's trying to hang in there and score a miracle knockout while he waits to see if Moskayev can knock him out with the right hand. Okay. Ba basically, right now, Jefferson is doing very well, the best that he can, but the short right hand of Moscow still seems to be a big factor because he's shooting it much shorter than Jefferson. And in this case here, Jefferson seemed to have regained some of his rhythm of coordination in his leg, but I don't think it's going to be enough to make it through the fight. I think eventually they're going to have to stop the fight between rounds, probably, because all he's going to do is get caught with a good punch sooner or later, just a matter of time. Moskov is a, too good of a fighter to be fighting at a handic with a handicap, particularly one of that magnitude. That's right. It's, 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 like, it's like hunting a bear with one hand. Big right hand by Jefferson. And he makes it through the second round. Once again, the right hand inside. Moskiev has has a way of turning away inside to give himself leverage. Emmanuel. Yes, he does. He has a tremendous amount of power that he gathered from short punches. And I think that's probably still from his experience in amateur. So he's he's fighting one of the better fights that I've fight tonight. That's a great very, observation, very, very, Larry. Very, you very, saw the way Moskiev leaned back from the waist to give himself room to generate power with the right hand. Well, we've called Jefferson the gaddy of the heavyweight division, and he's going to really have to pull up a gaddy here to survive or hope to win. And it's strange. Moskev is basically concentrating on the short one-two, just as I had expected. And Jefferson is fighting as good a fight as, as he can, but... Just Big right hand by Jefferson. Moskev momentarily wobbled here. Jefferson looking to pour it on. I've He's never been to East Detroit, East. Manuel, but I feel like I am now. Well, this is typical of people that come from the east side of Detroit. You know, they will fight until there's nothing left. In this case, this is the perfect situation that he's in. But I tell you what, Jefferson is not going down without a good fight. Boy, that's for sure. But I tell you what, it's still hard to get away from this short right hand on Moskev, and, he, and he's concentrating on it. He's not just throwing it reckless. He's really concentrating and kicking his punches very careful. Step back, step back, step back. Right. Now Ortega has warned Jefferson twice for hitting on the break. That time he let him get away with it. And I, I think all of the warnings, even if they took the round, were from that's the short punches again. Moskev hurts Jefferson this time with a left hook. 
Jefferson trying to bomb him out with a right hand. Jefferson's punches are just wider and Moskev is shorter. So when they get in a certain area, Moskev has the definite the advantage. Jefferson has an advantage when they're at a certain zone, but when they get close, Moskev is much more effective with short punches. Well, Jefferson's gonna have to do it with the right hand because the left leg is bothering him so badly there's no way he'll be able no way he'll be able to put the normal power on the left foot no he can't put weight on his front foot he's going to have to try to move in close and then a short right hand if he can himself other than that the fight's not going to go much longer. you know i've never seen anything like this emmanuel you've been around for 100 years also i've never seen a fighter fighting on a leg and a half well, uh, Neil McKenzie wants to fit in his world championship, and he had uh, cramps in his right leg, I think, and he went three rounds basically by laying on the ropes for the most part. But in this case here, Jefferson hasn't had that much experience, and I don't think he can do some of those things that more experienced fighters could do. Considering everything, it's very interesting. Break, break up, break up, step back, step back. Well, certainly it doesn't appear possible Jefferson could win a decision this way. He's got to try to knock Moskov out, and that's what he's trying to do is set up one big right-hand shot. It's a hope at best. Well, Moskov seems to see the punches coming also. Whenever Jefferson does punch, he seems to see the punches because they're long punches. Jefferson, because based on the leg situation, he has to like, stumble in when he throws a punch. He cannot step in and shoot crisp punches. He and threw a left hook. I got news for you. I gave that round to Jefferson. <laughs> Sit back. Sorry, bub, but I can see it better. Okay, come here. This guy can't take it in the body. Don't stand up so tall. Bend down a little bit and work both hands to the body, then come to the head. Okay? Got me? Keep rocking. Stay still. All right, let's. There's a right hand by Jefferson. Another one dri <laughs> driving him back. Later in the round. Moskiev had his way on the inside, but this is certainly a courageous performance by Derek Jefferson. And if anyone ever had an excuse should he lose, he's got one. The last time I saw something this courageous in the ring, Rafael Ruelas fought with a broken arm for two rounds against Jeff Franklin several years ago. One of the most difficult things we ever watched, Larry. Uh, was it Raphael? It was his brother, I thought. Oh, it's Gabe. That's right. It Gabe. was Gabe. Yeah, it was Gabe. Uh, Harold, how do you have it scored? Okay, Jim. 29-26. Two rounds to one. Over to the sky. And I tell you, Jim, in a 10 round fight, it's not going to be easy for Jefferson to catch up. Certainly, you got to give the sky of an extra point to rounds one and two for the knockdowns. Big left Perfect. hook for Jefferson as Muskayev came in. Jefferson is fighting the best that he can, but it, I don't see he can go much longer with this condition right here. Not with a quality Step fighter such as Moscow. Step back clean. Because even when he misses a punch, it seems to hurt him as much as it, uh, more so, because he's losing his balance, and every time he loses his balance, it hurts his leg even more. <laughs> Jefferson missed with an uppercut. Moskayev setting up a straight right hand. Big right from underneath by Jefferson. And a left, and a right. Break, break, break. Step back, step back, step back, step back. Moskayev hadn't really had time to follow Bob Jackson's instruction about going to the body. They'd been too busy trading shots upstairs. Two more right hands for Moskayev, and Jefferson comes back with a left hook. Yeah. Considering everything, this is still a very interesting fight. Jefferson, in addition to having a leg problem, he's in with a guy who's hitting him with solid punches, and he's still fighting back, basically off of one leg. It's still competitive. Very competitive. Jim. Break, step back, step back, step back. Let him out, let him out, let him out. Step back, step back. And if you notice between rounds, when the doctors ask him what is the exact problem, he never will even admit it, that's to that's it. That's it. And Michael Ortega is going to stop the fight as the obvious look of pain on Derek Jefferson's face betrays the difficulty he's experiencing and so for safety's sake Ortega brings an end to it 
ruling that Jefferson must wait to fight again. I don't know if the camera angle showed you. I think I was watching it live in the ring. Story of the fight. In round one, Oleg Moskayev landed a short right hand inside, and as Derek Jefferson went down, he landed awkwardly on his left leg. From that point, Jefferson hopped and danced and one-legged his way around the ring as he courageously tried to stay in the fight, trading shots over the top with Moskayev the whole time. And in round three, he was, not, he, he was knocked down in round one. He came out and fought and traded shots and was knocked down again in round two. Three, four. A disgruntled Jefferson, and it was Moskayev's right hand against Jefferson's right hand from that point forward as the big swinger from Detroit, hobbling around on one leg, tried to land a home run blow that would rescue the fight for him. But in the fourth, after Moskayev landed a couple more right hands, that's it, that's Jefferson it. grimaced like that as he moved that's along the ropes, it, and referee it. Michael Ortega, not wanting to see Jefferson take any unwarranted damage while obviously injured in the ring, intelligently stopped the fight.